What is going on everybody, welcome back to a new series again, Europa Universalis 4 is back. Today though we are playing on the extended timeline mod on the actual normal difficulty, not easy. We're going to be playing as Germany in a 1936 start date of the extended timeline mod. So basically Hearts of Iron 4 in Europa Universalis 4, because if I, I, like Hearts of Iron 4 just runs really bad on my PC if I'm not recording. EU4, this is going to be a bit slower than the last series, but everything should be fine in general. Basically, playing as Germany because they lost in World War II, so give them a chance at redemption military-wise, not for all the other things that went on that may not have been so good. But yeah, we're going to be playing as Germany, 1936, so basically Hearts of Iron 4 starts. If we start too near to World War II, we don't really get the option to do what we want, we're almost forced straight away into war with France, Britain, Soviet Union, almost all at once. Not necessarily the Soviet Union, actually, but pretty much everyone at once. Here we have the choice to sort of take things into our own hands, which is really good, including getting rid of Hitler as our leader really early, which is something I'm going to do just so that no one gets, I guess, offended. But we can replace him with someone else. And just, you know, that person can represent me then, because I would rather not be represented as Hitler. That would be pretty bad. But anyway, already some alliance requests. We're allied to Italy and Japan already. And my first sort of aim is to make friends with Turkey, add them to our sort of friendship group, and then have a little group chat with Turkey. And then we'll probably look into invading some of the smaller countries up until about 1940-something. And then we'll start maybe eyeing up some bigger countries. Who knows what's going to be going on in the rest of the world by then. Like I said, 1936... More susceptible to some random things going on that didn't happen in history, which can make it really interesting. So Czechoslovakia, Lithuania, and Estonia. Straight away, I'm going to say no to Estonia and Lithuania, because they're near the Soviet Union. They're probably going to get invaded. And again, Czechoslovakia. I'm thinking about invading them. Mission, gain a trade post in China. Uh, let's set that as our mission, because China is the future. We, we have common knowledge that manufacturing in China... Common knowledge, knowledge of the future that China's a good thing to do. Hitler's not even got good stats. Like, he's two military skill, four administrative skill, no diplomatic skill. I guess that's true. He wasn't that great either militarily. Managed to lose World War II. If he just ignored Russia, he probably could have got, could have done better at invading Britain. But anyway, um, our enemies are apparently the Netherlands, France, and Ch the Soviet Union, not China. It just looked like a modern Chinese flag, but it doesn't. Okay, so rivals, I think... Okay, we can only have three, so we we, we may as well settle three. We're probably going to have a war with the Netherlands fairly soon, and the French again, but eventually we'll have a war with the French. Ideas, this is going to take some time. Okay, I think... where Where is this? Free slot, okay. So here there's lots of sort of custom things, so freedom, order, autocracy ideas. I think we should go autocracy, because we are autocratic, as far as I'm aware. Obviously all the normal Europa Universalis 4 mechanics apply, not the Hearts of Iron 4 mechanics. So that's going to make it quite interesting. The units do still appear to look like people with muskets, but they are renamed, so assault rifles. So they are better than graphically they appear. Just to bear that in mind, so like I, I think uh, cavalry is named after tanks, so they are a lot better. So to bear in mind, so rebels, we've got some overthrow the government, revolutionaries, and Silesia want independence, but we'll ignore those. We'll be fine. We've got a very big army, as you can see. Let's just sit, check where we are in the world. Oh, no, not current wars. Nothing's going on just yet. Military. Okay, the USA is first, just ahead of China, Britain, Germany. There we are, fourth spot. Lovely, jubbly. And final thing to do, then, before, before we leave, before we start the game is there is a way how do we do this we can change you used to be able to do this maybe you can't anymore maybe i'm being an idiot but before change government okay so it's not allowed to manually change from this kind of government ah okay maybe we'll have to wait but i knew before you could like change and sort of pick a different party to be in charge we may have to wait a little while maybe that's what's going on here so yeah we'll have to stick as the guy for now we'll stop using his name because I, I don't know I don't want to I don't know who knows why I'm not what what's going on let's just start let's wait we need to set stuff up okay so Turkey minus 30 that's not good 
They were okay. Turkey dislikes us. That was that was brutal. It's just like Turkey doesn't like you. There we go. Boom. So we improve relations with Turkey. Who else should we add? We we'll probably do with one more friend. Um, logistically, we're not gonna be able to do as much as like what happened in World War Two. So like Africa, probably not gonna be able to do too much out there. Maybe Iran as a friend. You seem to like us. What about China? China's a good friend. We could always try and get China on our side. We need to get a trade outpost there anyway. So, I take it we need to... How many merchants do we have? Not out of seven. So, do we, we need to send one of these merchants transferring trade power. So, I, I, I really don't understand this stuff. So, I'm going to leave it. But we'll send one to China. When it looks like one's doing bad or something, we'll send one over to China. But let's hit play. Sadly... I don't want to up the speed too much, especially at the start, because as you can see, everything is just going crazy. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Game 30, Prestige. Prestige? Prestige? Prestige. Oh no, everything is just flying through at speed 3. At the start, there's a lot of stuff going on, as you can kind of see. Accepted alliances are being formed everywhere. Alliance offer from Hungary. I can't see. We don't need that. Hungary? Um, they are on my list to invade in the future, but for now... No, sorry. Okay, so we have gained the humiliate rival against Netherlands, France, and Soviet Union. Okay, and then depletion of the European beaver means price of furs changes by plus forty percent until the thirty-first of February, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Okay, so that, that's the way. But yeah, we'll just let all this stuff go. Sort of break, break stuff. It's probably going to get slower. Romania. Uh, yes, hang on, pause again. There we go, pause. Also, I'm using Audacity now, so hopefully the audio is a bit better than it was before. It sucked with Shadow Play. I looked at a tutorial to fix it, but I couldn't access the same menu as they did to fix it. So I'm just using Audacity, which is something I've been trying to do for a long time, but I was worried like my poor editing skills and only having Movie Maker would make things difficult. But I've found a way to do it, just getting stuff synced up, and it doesn't look too hard. But, you know, if this video has come out after, like, three days of no video, you'll know why. But, yeah, Romania, want to be friends? Um, I'm going to say yes. I know they border the Soviet Union, but they're a lot bigger. And in World War II, I think they were Germany's friend. Oh, they're allied, allied to Czechoslovakia. So we may not last as friends for very long. But Denmark? Yes, I guess. We want a friend who's close to home. Hopefully there's not a limit to friends in this mod. Because... <laughs> Normally people get a lot of friends up anyway, so we've already got Denmark, Romania, Italy, Japan. But Denmark will help in the North Sea again, and we can build improvements. There's a lot more improvements have been added to the game, as you can see, as we push on. So, um, yeah, there's going to be some big breaks, by the way. So most of the stuff you're going to see on camera, on screen recording, I'm just going to cut to the awesome fights, and I'll tell you what's gone on between, because... This is going to take a lot longer to get things done, if I'm honest. We can build, like, factories, coal plants, universities, all sorts of different things for the army. We can build a conscription centre. So, there's yeah, there's new stuff added that isn't in regular EU4. As you'd expect, I mean, there's not necessarily that much. Mainly it's production, so we could build a coal plant, but we'll stay away. I like money. Plus 167 a month, but we need more than that. We definitely need more than that. But, yes, okay, so Turkey, China, improving relations, that is... That's good. We'll keep doing that for now. We could always... Uh, what What is going on? There's so much going on. Portugal? No. Um, so yeah, the USA is obviously pretty safe in this mod because no one's ever any good at using their air force. So America's pretty safe. They'll probably take out Mexico. So what goes on in the Americas, we can just sort of ignore. Imperialism against Italian Somaliland forced the government to adopt a fascist regime. Um... Why would I attack Italy? They're my friends. <laughs> I'm not no genius, but an Italian colony shouldn't be much of my business. I'm going to try and stay zoomed out while we wait. What are we waiting for? What, what should we do first? That is really the question. While stuff is improving. Austria or, or Czechoslovakia? Where do we... Who do we want to war with first? I mean, let's assign some generals. Erwin Rommel. I've heard of him. And let's send him down there. He was in Africa. So let's send two, a 58 and a 56 stack. Should be enough to wipe out a whole small nation. With no disrespect to Austria. 
But Austria, I mean, doesn't... Do we have anything going with Austria? Because I know... No, before World War Two, Austria. Germany did some sneaky things or whatever and annexed Austria. But it doesn't look like this game's accounted for that. It's good. Oh, this is going to bring us into a war with Yugoslavia, though. That would not be... That would not be good. They've got a lot of friends out here, including Turkey. So let's avoid that one. Romania and Yugoslavia. Okay, maybe going east is a bad idea. Switzerland's always an easy place to start. We could take Belgium out at the same time. Switzerland, Netherlands. Maybe we should go westwards first. I think that's, that's a safe plan to go westwards. So let's send a 66 stack to Belgium. Also, Belgium's much easier to invade than the Netherlands because the Netherlands, they have this sort of crossing and they just make things very, very difficult. So, yes, let's send a 60 stack over there. Lose one stability. We'll have to tighten our belts. Our merchants are doing poorly. Or lose one stability. We can always... Uh, okay, let's, let's suffer a little bit. Merchants, 0.8. Okay, this guy sucks. Recall. We'll send him to China in a little bit. Once, okay, Ferdinand, can I send, how do I, I, I don't know, it doesn't say, I'm very confused, like, what, what am I supposed to do to create a trade outpost in China, who knows, is there an option here that's been added to the game now, that is possible, um, issue gift, no, wait, did that say, oh wait, you can offer people loans, is that in the normal game, I, I don't know, it probably probably is, but that's a pretty good idea because we've got a lot of money. So we could always offer loans, get back some nice interest on those loans if we need to. Okay, I'm just going to hit play again. Uh, you, okay, we, we've got a problem. A 66 stack is probably a bit too big. Um, but Ed, Eric von Manstein, he was on the Eastern Front, if I remember correctly. All those documentaries I've been watching. Okay, so they want us to just out. There we go, first war. Pretty pretty interesting stuff how do I there we go so oh my goodness okay so yeah I think we should stay away from this sort of southeastern region actually of Europe because early on they're just gonna tear each other apart everyone's attacking Greece now they're gonna divide it up and once it's sort of just a couple of bigger blobs it will be easier to get the job done especially if we can make friends with Turkey because I'm sure Turkey would rather be friends with me than somebody else Okay, I'm just gonna split this one down Give it a separate 20 stack. We we don't have too much here, but let's just stick three or four or five of these over. There we go. Let's just, yeah, just like a 20 stack so that the food is not too bad. So 15 stack. There we go. Go there. And the rest can go wherever they're going. But yeah, that's just going to stop the lack of food out here in the West, causing too many problems. You two need to go to the Swiss border. Switzerland will take a while to get through anything because the mountains are a pain. But yeah, we're going to be aggressive. Of course I am going to be aggressive. Not going to be nice. See, Italy may actually... Uh, I'm going to try and avoid using Italy, actually, because they're Italy. They'll cause problems if we bring in the Italians. They'll just steal land for themselves, and we don't want that. But I think we're pretty much ready. I think we're in a good spot. Let's just go, go straight into this. So declare war take nationalism so there we go that's a pretty good pretty good reason take spread fascism so we can do it for whatever re does it change who will join depending on what no so italy are the only ones willing to join anyway but yeah we'll fight belgium now what, what does that mean the enemy ally will not be considered a co-belligerent they will not be able to call their own allies but it'll be twice as wait, so if i do okay so if i do that they could also call in the netherlands that's Let's not do that. But there we go. Let's not call in Italy. There we go. We don't need Italy. Call to arms. You know, I'm going to leave Italy to survive by themselves. Okay, so you can go straight for Bern. If you go to Zurich, that would be good. And we'll have... Sieging out is also a lot quicker in this game. I didn't mention, but yes, it is. And now we're at war with Belgium. We do not have military access. I'm at war. <laughs> game. Okay, there we go. A load of... Okay, 45 stack should okay we've got us we got us have to siege this out so this shouldn't take too long like i said if i remember from previously there we go zurich has already been oh it was occupation okay 58 wait no 58 stack probably shouldn't join in but it can do anyway and let's just slow it down while we're in a battle 
And, okay, 21 stack. Can't actually go anywhere else until they're out of the way. I don't want food to cause a problem. But there we go. We're in the second war. The war for Greece actually finished. And did Greece win? Greece looked bigger. I, I don't know what happened, but who knows. Uh, South Africa are being attacked by Portugal and Britain's colonies. But yeah, stuff's going to be going on. Colonies are going to be breaking away. She's one of the be yeah, there we go. The siege was over in 13 days. One of the benefits of being Germany is that I'm going to send the 45 stack just through all the way and then the 21 stack can clear up the provinces behind. One of the benefits of being Germany is we don't have any colonies, which sounds bad, but we're actually it means we're not going to lose any because you lose almost all of them by the time it gets sort of into the future into the present day they are retreating into germany which is not 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 really very good uh erwin go on erwin um i don't know what to do here so hmm. hang on no 58 stack can't keep going anywhere okay we're gonna have to wait till this siege is out so 58 stack may as well go home for now and we need to assign them a leader as well in a second in a second and how is this going? Okay, so we are making some good progress in the invasion of Belgium. See, uh, okay, so which where do we want to go now? Let's go north just to make sure, because I don't know how many units they have. It won't be many, but just make sure they don't damage the 21 stack. Send them over there. But at the moment, it looks like the speed is going good. Obviously, when big wars break out, we might have to slow it down, etc. But it should generally be fine. Can you go over here? Hmm. The fort system is annoying, but other than that, I'm not going to moan. Belgium. Okay, Turkey is now trying to finish off Greece by the looks of things. Um, okay, so let's scroll in. <laughs> let's focus on down here. Okay, so we're sieging out. There is a fort here, actually. Is this the capital? Oh, no. Yeah, it is. That is the capital. 16 days. So, yeah, the smaller nations tend to roll over pretty, pretty easily. Let's just move you over here now keep picking this up 39% war score we're about I presume okay something's going on in Ireland we're about to take control of the Swiss capital and the war goal in Bern which is going to give us a lot more war score and we should be able to fully occupy or annex both of these nations at the end of the war okay let's go around go into this province there we go it looks like they're going into the Netherlands but they're not and then once these two are done, we'll be on to the final one. And we can probably separate piece Belgium completely and just take them o take them over. Again, we need to probably split down some of these stacks. I'm going to take 10k out of here just to make sure that there is enough food for everyone else. A peace offer from Switzerland? No. <laughs> Not what they were offering. They will get one in a minute since Belgium is about to... They're, they're only friend in the Belgium's... Belgiums? The Belgians. Oh my goodness, there is Belgium. Why are they running away? I don't think they have a good idea of how this war thing works. Can we separate peace, Belgium? Sue for peace. So, we negotiate and they are just for themselves. Okay, so if we can start pushing in. I want to take everything. Hang on, how do I take everything? It's also quite easy to take... Oh dang it, stupid unit. Okay, let's sue for peace. Hang on. If I don't click the unit this time. There we go. So we can take all of that for 39. Take all their money as well. Everything. All the money. Bingo. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Start to the war. We've already cut off the French from being able to take out the Netherlands if we see an expansive France in this game. And obviously we have to core all these. But look how little it is to make cores. This is going to be a fun game. Well, we can basically do anything, but so can the other nations, which is kind of worrying. But yeah, we'll focus on taking out Switzerland in the next video. Keep seeing what, keep going with this war in the next video. Hopefully you're excited for this series. Let me know all your recommendations, what you want to see in the later, bigger picture. Obviously, start, I'm just going to pick off some smaller nations to make myself better prepared for whether it be France or Britain will be quite tough just because the way the mechanics of the game are. Soviet Union, eventually, something like that, you know, eventually we will be looking for one of those bigger nations. But hopefully you've enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, as always, be sure to leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe, that would be awesome. But other than that, hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.